the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As a true family, we value respect, responsibility, and honesty in our education. Let's soar and remember to fly right. Have a great day. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, kind of a gloomy morning, but it's going to be a beautiful day, right? Yeah. I think it will be a real beautiful day. Um, I'm Mrs. Burgio, for those of you maybe that maybe haven't seen me um, a whole lot, so I kind of do a lot of things with your flyer time right now, I'm working with your flyer time, and Dr. Strotman and I, at the beginning of the year, we're kind of talking, we're like, we really want a way to expose our students to some other cultures, and Rosa came to us with this great idea that fit in exactly with kind of what the vision that Dr. Strotman and I had, so I'm going to let her talk for just a minute kind of about how she came up with her idea, um, and then she's going to introduce our guest speaker. So, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. Um, so, uh, we've been organizing having speakers come in that, just talking about their personal stories and where they grew up and how they now live in St. Louis, Missouri, and just, we had somebody from Afghanistan, somebody come here from Nigeria, and today we have Sara from Oaxaca, Mexico who, um, she's awesome, and when she was a senior in high school, her mom decided to remarry somebody that lived in St. Louis, and so she had to leave all her friends and everyone that she went to school with ever since kindergarten and relocate to St. Louis, which was a little bit different than where she grew up, and come here and speak English all the time and make new friends and totally leave her home country. And so I thought you might have, um, enjoy meeting her, and so I'm going to let her take the floor and tell her about her story. Hi, so I'm Sara, and like Rosa said, I moved here in my senior year of high school, and I, I live, I'm i from a small city in like the state, in a state that is all the way south from Mexico. So how do you like think Mexico is? Like, what do you think about when you hear Mexico? Hot. Yeah. That's a, <laughs> boy. a giant desert with a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> Anyone else? Here. Yeah, so yeah, we all talk about think about things like that, but Mexico has like a great cultural and like natural diversity. So I'm from the south, which and the state, my state is next to the Pacific Ocean. So we have beach, we have the forest, we have a lot of like ruins from like our ancient like people there. We have a lot, lot of culture. So it's not only like that, that like the desert and like Atlas. My state, we have like the beach, and we only we do not only have one beach. We have like a big shore with like different like miles and miles of different like little towns that have a beach. And then we have mountains, which are beautiful, and we even get snow sometimes. So you go up the mountain, and then like cold, and there's like vegetation everywhere, and it's beautiful. And then like you start going down the mountain, and you can see how the vegetation is more like tropical. And we have a lot of coffee farms. And it's just like beautiful. We have like a lot of different types of animals, and then we go to the beach. So it's just like an awesome trip to make. Yeah. Do you have different traditions than we do? Yeah, we do. Like we like celebrate a lot. Like we have a lot of like religious days that we have off because most of the schools are like Catholic schools. So we have all these days off, which is awesome because we get like a lot of like. Uh, long weekends, and we also have like day of the dead is big in my city. We go to the to like the cemeteries and like we put flowers and we like make altars. I don't know if you know if you have ever seen an altar. So it's just like really beautiful. And then like in my state, we have a big big thing that is called La Galagetza, and it's just like a celebration of all the cultures in the state because there are eight different regions. So I moved all the way from there to here. And I didn't have any friends when I first moved here. And it was really hard because like no one in my school spoke Spanish that I knew. Until I met my best friend. She was half Colombian and half Mexican. And she became my best friend. But it was still really hard because even when I could talk to her in Spanish sometimes, 
other people will think like, oh, like what are they saying? They're talking like bad things about me. I went to Webster Girls High School, and there's a lot of international students there that they're part of like exchange programs, and they're all really, really nice. So I was just there for one year, and then I decided that I wanted to stay here to get my college degree. So right now I'm at UMSL. I don't know if you know UMSL, University of Missouri St. Louis. It's by the airport. And I decided to go there because I always love science. My dad is, uh, he's a, he has a PhD in oceanology, and he studied in France. So I always love science because of him. So I always tried to like learn a lot of science. I always was like watching like the news and like what was going on with the environment and like global warming and everything was like really like important to me. And then I always took like all the classes I could take. Like I took biology, I took all the different kinds of biology at my school. So I want to go to get my PhD in bioengineering. And I just want to stay here in the U.S. because, like, I think that here is a place where I can like achieve all my goals and like get all my dreams. But it was really hard moving here first because all my family is back home. Only me and my mom are here. So I I didn't see my dad this past year for like a whole year. So that's really hard also. And what else? Right now I'm about to graduate in May, and. I'm trying to get my dad to come to the U.S., but it's really complicated, as you know. And he only wants to come for my graduation, so I really, I'm really hopeful that he can come. And my stepdad, he moved here when he was 18 year old, 18 years, and he moved to New York all the way from Chile, which is another country in South America. And he, so he's like really Americanized. He speaks English like really well. He's like 70 something right now. So he just like speaks English and is like totally like an American. But he, in my house, we only speak Spanish. And yeah, so my mom tried to find friends here, but it was like hard for her to communicate with people that like didn't speak Spanish. So she found a big group of like Latinas, which are like girls from Latin America. And they all want me to babysit their children because they're mostly married to like Americans or to like people from other countries. And they want their children to learn a, a, like another language since they're kids. Because like that's the best way to, for you to like learn. So I babysit a lot and I love doing it because I love kids. And yeah, like I, they only like, they tell me all the time, like only speak to them in Spanish. And that's great because even if like some of them are shy at the beginning or don't really want to do it. Like at the end of the day, they're just like speaking like super fluently and everything. Yeah. Do you ever speak English so much that you kind of find yourself forgetting Spanish, or is it? Sometimes? Yeah, like sometimes now, like I really use a lot of Spanglish. Have you heard about that? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you use like words from Spanish that are like, and you like. Uh, add like the ending of like English or like things like that and it's really funny because like my stepdad makes a lot of fun of me because I'm just speaking Spanglish like a lot of the time but yeah like sometimes I'm also like uh, like it's just easier to say some things in Spanish and some things in English so it's like great when I speak to a person who speaks both languages because I can just like say words in like one language and the other and like I will I can communicate better my houses look just like here. <laughs> Most of them are even like bigger. Like I live downtown and I live in like an old house and it's 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 beautiful and I like it a lot, but it's mostly like wood and stuff and houses are more like modern I think. So it's weird because like you would think like in Mexico you will have like small houses and like people will have like I don't know like not similar things to here, but it's just like the same and we wear all the brands and clothes that we wear here, so that was like no difference. So yeah.